What does this mean, Marmit? The American Conference. They will kill him. Kill who, Marmit? And who are they? Organizatsaya. I know nothing more. Nothing. It's only a matter of hours now. CI-5 will have finally killed a great man. What are you talking about? This was nothing to do with us. It was your predecessor, George Cowley, 20 years ago. The bullet lodged too close to his spine to be removed. All right, Eliza. Why did you invite me here? The world changes, Mr. Malone. And there's an old saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So? Who is our enemy? The cream of the Russian Mafia. Richer than some small countries. Already they control the Russian government. Now they're trying to move into our territory. Soon they'll take over the worldwide drug trade. We must learn a new word for fear, Mr. Malone. The Organizasaya. Yes. The organization. Yes. And this? We do not know its meaning, but we know its purpose. On the 19th of this month, they're going to kill the American president. Cadets, President accounted for, sir. No, sir, that's it. Just the one presidential event on the 19th. Conference on world crime. The White House Chief of Staff's not available, sir. It'll be a Miss Watson. They're getting her out of a meeting. Thank you, Mr. Spencer. So this conference has nothing to do with the Middle East. Where does Marmette fit in? On the side of the angels, I hope. But he's a known terrorist. Was. He died 8 o'clock this morning. This academy prides itself on molding the finest young cadets. A year from now, many of you will go on to a naval career. Some will choose a civilian occupation. But whichever direction you take, your days on the USS Glory will endow you with qualities of leadership that are unsurpassed. Sixteen-inch guns. Awesome. Time was they could blow any ship out of the water, right across the Pacific. How many people will stay on board? Five, six at most. Will they be armed? It's a museum, a school for rich kids. While training on board these past weeks, each of you has risen to our high standard of conduct. I expect the same from you while you're on spring break. This missed. Sir, yes, sir. Miss Watson, how good of you to be so prompt. It's Ms. Watson. How can I help you? About this conference on the 19th, we have reason to believe there could be an attempt on the president's life. An assassination attempt? By whom? We think it could be part of the Russian mafia. And what is the source of your information? Hassan Marmet. Huh. No longer with us, I believe. Well, it's good to see that you're as up-to-date as we are. Congratulations. I'm very impressed. 
But not with Marmette, I hope. He was a busted flush ten years ago. He still had the best information network in the whole of the Middle East. Still military. How long have you been with me, Radkov? Two years. And in that time, how many jobs have crashed and burned? Not one. One hundred percent success. That's why my bank account's so healthy. Yours too. But this is the big one. This one is for Baranov. I told you never say that name. Not to me. Not to anybody. Let's take a walk past the promised land. Mr. Malone, I know the president has great respect for CI-5, so I'll try and put this delicately. We receive three assassination warnings a month from sources like Marmet. Any less, and we think the president's popularity was slipping. However, you do take each one seriously. Of course we do. And when you have some concrete information, we'll act on it immediately. Now, if there's nothing further... Nothing at all, thank you. Ms. Sir. You asked about Middleton? He's still in Cuba, so is Clark. Mr. Curtis, Mr. Keel. They're in Vancouver yet? No, I stopped them leaving. They're still in Washington. Good, well done. Right, brief them thoroughly. Then tell them to contact Jerry Donahue, and I'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Mr. Donahue's here. Donahue, I have a meeting in the press office in 10 minutes and a call waiting from Paris. Can we make this quick? Sure. The venue's fine and so's the route. I'll have a report for you tomorrow. This time, take extra care, okay? Check every brick in the building. That's standard procedure. Is there a problem? I just got a call from CI5. They think there could be an assassination attempt on the 19th. Who's the threat? Would you believe the Russian mafia again? It's probably nothing, but I don't want CI5 stealing our thunder. Just make sure everything's tighter than tight, okay? You got it. Julian? Ma'am? Put the Elysee through on two. Hello. Bonjour, Francois. Comment allez-vous? Bien, merci. Et vous? J'ai reçu votre lettre ce matin. Oh, déjà? Oui, oui. And here in D.C., the weather is set to stay fine. But if you're planning to drive through downtown Washington tomorrow, be prepared for minor delays from 11 a.m. as the presidential motorcade heads down Pennsylvania Avenue to the Dower House on Riverside Drive, the historic site for a historic occasion. Uh, this is Update FM in the nation's capital, bringing you news round the clock. The situation in Bulgaria... Six group will take Tripoli and Baghdad. Four group, Moscow and St. Petersburg. And group three, our friends in Colombia. Carry on, Mr. Spencer. From what we can gather, the organizat Sire is the most secretive crime club on the planet. So we'll be working in the dark. Any scrap of information, any rumor, could be vital. Use every informant we've got, but make sure they're on scramblers. Channel everything through me, and I'll pass it on to Washington. Any questions? Right. Ready, sir? Yes. Good luck, everybody. We're looking for Jerry Donahue. Who are you? Curtis and Keel, CI5. Dad just got instructions about you. From the very top, Big Bang still knows how to pull strings, huh? What? Big Bang Malone? Got his name in Berlin when he blew up the Russian radar. Toughest SOB in the business. Well, he was then. Still is. Permission to enter, sir. Granted. Reporting for duty, sir. At ease. Well, Cadet Lewis, this is a surprise. I expected you to be off to the Hamptons. Sir, First Officer Turner thought it would be beneficial to my development if I stayed on board during the spring break, sir. And I have every faith in his judgment. I believe the deck needs swabbing. Sir. sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. That girl, she's officer material if I've ever seen it. Unlike Cadet Lewis, Lots of talk, but not much action. Now, nah, that'll change. By the time he gets off the glory, his own parents won't recognize him. This is 
is what we call first scan. The detailed work starts this afternoon. Do you sniff for dogs? Dogs? X-rays, Geiger counters, if it's been invented, we use it. By this time tomorrow, there won't be a floorboard we haven't lifted or a sewer we haven't crawled through. We even cut off the vehicle access to this part of the building. And the president enters from the south side. Exactly as I showed you. Boys, let me let you in on a little secret. If a flea gets through to the president, I lose my job. And you know something? I like my job. You're a sitting duck for a missile attack. Wrong. We have two batteries of Patriot missiles on call. Anything launched at this building will be taken out in the air long before it's a threat. How about the battleship? Decommissioned. Now a training vessel. Who trains on it? Her. Who trains on her? Think private military school on a battleship and you'll be close. Has she been inspected yet? She will be later this afternoon. It's a privilege I reserve for myself. My father served on her. Captain Bragg's an old friend. Look, guys, I know you're just doing your job, but we put on the circus 50 times a year. We know what we're doing. Listen, uh, you know what this means? Not a clue. What is it? Our foreman gave it to us before he died. Probably some sort of code. Our people are working on it. How's the travel route secured? Look, I have an appointment. I'll let Joe show you the route. Joe, mm -hmm. on the route. Sure. See you later. Think he's got a hot day? If he has, I hope she's prettier than Joe. Agent Donahue. What can I do for you? I have information this facility is a security risk. Any unauthorized personnel been around? Unauthorized? No. No unusual visitors at all? Not unless you consider civilians unusual. But they're not uh, unauthorized. They're official. What civilians? They got a contract for surplus stores. They're loading up as we speak. Mind if I take a look? Out the door, make a lift. you want to cross the river sticks that stuff's 40 years old we're running late hurry it up there's four more where that came from hi So, now that you've seen our arrangements, what's your expert opinion on the president's safety? What we've seen so far it all seems very... Professional? Yes, it seems like you've got most things covered. Perhaps that's because we have three teams who do nothing else. And these are for the boots and jackets. You already have the invoices. Hey, thanks for stacking it all up for us. You made it real easy. It's my job. You everything ship shape out there? Just fine. A couple more things to do, we'll be out of here. Okay, uh, don't take too long. Place closes at six. Hey, that's my pen. So, this one's for you, Amy. Just for you. <sighs> Enjoy. But assassins have got through. In the past, I mean. I'm going to say something to you, Mr. Keel. Curtis. The fullest cooperation between security services is something I firmly believe in. I've recently written a report on the subject, which was relatively well received. But I take strongest exception to your director going above my head to my chief of staff and demanding CI-5's involvement in a matter that is clearly the province of this office. Later today, I'm going to call Mr. Malone and tell him so. Tell him what, Miss Watson? Sorry, but your door was open. Hey, Cap, you got a minute? 
Murray, it's Captain. Oh, hell, Cap, save that for the kids. We got too many years at sea together. Okay. What do you need? I... Supplies. I'm running pretty low. All right. Just try to get back before the bars close. <laughs> aye, aye, boss. <laughs> He's a disgrace. <laughs> yeah. He's a good cook, though. <laughs> and a purple heart at the Gulf of Tonkin. Don't forget that. NS589? 18 NS589. That's the only clue that Marmot could offer. Our cryptographers have so far drawn a blank. Pity they didn't ask us. Do you know what it means? NS589 is a naval stores designation. They were recently recoded. I imagine the 18 refers to today's date, the 18th. Well, sir, if there's nothing more, I'd like to go ashore myself. Oh, that's right. Graduation day. How is Jenny? A little nervous, maybe. You're going to have to watch your step now with a police officer for a daughter. <laughs> See you tomorrow, John. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. This naval storage, as you call it, where is it? I'll tell you. Would Donahue be able to recognize that number as quickly? Possibly. 589's right here in Washington. Mayor? Yes? Excuse us. They do that? Yes, they do. No, Ms. Watson. Let me tell you what I propose. Hey, that's Donahue's car. It's still warm. He's crafty, I'll give him that. He recognized that number, he wants to hog all the glory. Wink, wink. <laughs> How the hell's a guy supposed to get any reading done? Who are you? We're looking for a friend of ours. Donahue, tall, black suit. Oh, him. He's probably still out with the others. What others? They're loading supplies. Uh, the contractors. I'll show you. Time I locked up anyways. All right, this way. Hey, music to canoe by. Well, what's all the interest all of a sudden? I've been here 10 years. They had so many visitors since. Well, I'll be. Well, what is it? What's wrong? The contractor's supposed to shift all this stuff by six, and most of it's still here. They paid for it, they just left it. What the hell are they playing with? What's in the boxes? Surplus stores, you know, food stuff. Piss it! Ah! It was a rental. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember if I took out the $6 a day insurance or not. Hey, you guys uh, need to call the auto club. There's a phone around the back. I'm Jack. Jack Semple. What are you guys? Cops? Are you there yet? Ready. Stay in the truck. I'm passing the dower house now. Wait till we're on the deck, then unload the crates. But don't make your move till I give the signal. You got that? We wait. Not listed. Yeah, thanks, backup. Let me know if you hear from Donahue. Sorry, Jack, you've been had. This outfit's not real. Your contractors don't exist. You know, at home, we have maids to do this. At home, you don't have the security of the nation at stake. She consider this a privilege. 
The security of the nation involves a mop and a bucket? You definitely have a screw loose somewhere. But the order came through on the computer. Official signatures, agreed prices, everything. hard to everything. hack into a computer, Mr. Semple. People do it all the time. I could lose my job over this. Do you keep any weapons here? Mines, explosives? Are you kidding? <laughs> you gotta have high security for explosive. This building's going on 50 years old. No chemicals, biological materials of any kind? No. Most dangerous thing I got here is Navy issue soap. Wait a minute, though. There was an ammo store here once. At least I think that's what it was used for. You think? Well, I've never been in it. I don't have a key. Show us. Hey, what are you doing? Oh. How many officers on board? It's Captain Bragg. Where is he? On the bridge. Move it. Push up. Someone's been here. That's fresh oil. There ain't never been no key. Well, somebody found one or had one made. Pardon me, gents. First blood. Absolutely certain. The Navy can account for every knife, fork, and spoon it's ever owned. There's no manifest for the storage room on record. It was and is empty. And as for explosives, the last time any offensive material was delivered to this site was 1992. A pistol to be kept in the storekeeper's wall safe for security purposes. I just looked in the safe, and it's still there. One 38 caliber revolver and 10 bullets. Why was it locked for 40 years? Excuse me. Should the conference be canceled? I called the Secretary of State last night. I suggested to him that this conference be postponed. I was met with an absolute refusal. But since then, a Secret Service man has been killed. Yes, but we don't know why. I was told this conference is of the utmost importance, and until we find proof positive that there is danger, it's going to go ahead. Why is this so important? These conferences happen all the time. Not one like this. The president is on the brink of persuading 12 nations to pool their resources in the fight against international crime. Well, they'd be a huge help to us. It's not just covert operations like ours. He wants it enshrined in international law, that all information be freely exchanged between all security services. It'd be the first time ever. No wonder the organite at Saya wants it stopped. They'd have nowhere to hide. Exactly. Oh, they'll stop at nothing. They'll even assassinate the president of the United States. So what do we do now, sir? Do what we always do, Ms. Backus. Do our job. Now understand this, Captain. I'm now in control of this ship. Who I am or what I want is none of your concern. What is your concern is your life and the lives of your people. How many crew members are still on board? I can tell you exactly how many. Be quiet. I'm asking her. Um, I I'm not really sure. Two cadets, me and Lewis, and I I'm not really sure about the crew. There's no one else, just us three. 
Lock them up. Make sure there's nobody else on the ship. We don't want any surprises. What about old Murray? For once in your life, just shut up. Тоже. Известно, что от нас требуется. Да, совсем Но известно. Да. Что мы можем сделать? Ничего, ничего. Раньше <свят> все было Все было просто. Понятно. Здесь мы, там они. Теперь не знаю. Совсем. Я вообще не хотел в этом участвовать. <свят> Идиотизм. Кому это нужно? Что нам? Хозяина, конечно. Хозяин. Мы-то знаем, сколько он на этом заработает. А нам что? Нам повезет, если Ой! останемся живы. Если вы курите, курите внизу. Кто-нибудь может увидеть вас. Извини, не подумал. И вообще, что вы здесь делаете? Что за чувство? Reach a security on this ship and you'll go the same way. Get back to your post. We'll be reporting live from the conference throughout the day. Jim, are you optimistic about this initiative? On illicit arms sales, you mean? Yes, and drugs. Now, what about drugs? After today, it's going to be a lot harder for the big syndicates to survive. Mm -hmm. So the president's playing for high stakes. Have you seen anything yet? Not since they carried those crates on board. You know, there has to be some way that we can get word to the authorities. I'm open to suggestions. Then the motorcade goes over this bridge, down the Riverside Drive, and onto the site. The Dower House, why was it chosen? It's a historic landmark. The President chose it himself. I need a volunteer. You, on your feet. If even one of my cadets comes to harm as a result Shut of... Shut up! You lied to me last night. And now an old man's dead that didn't need to die. Murray. Who are you people? What are you doing with my ship? You'll know soon enough. Sir, I just spoke to Spencer. He's found something. Two sources in Europe and one in America confirm a large contract issued by one Alexei Berinov. Berinov. Rudolf Orostko, godfather of the Organite Satsaya. Well, well, times do change, don't they? Who is he? Alexei Berinov, once deputy head of the KGB. How big's the contract? Eight figures. Eight man or squad? Spencer thinks squad. May I see that? It's the only photo Spencer could get. Apparently, Berinov is camera shy. Oh, my God. What is it, ma'am? Look where he's standing. The steps, the fountain. It's the Dower House. He's standing in front of the Dower House. When was the picture taken? Source wouldn't say. Mr. Curtis, Mr. Keel, you will tear this place apart. You will then check and recheck every inch of the route. Excuse me. Where are you going? Well, to see him, of course. To see who? The president. I said on your feet. You. You're about to grow up. The captain and this boy here will soon owe their lives to you. One mistake, one wrong word, and they'll be shot dead. Markov. <laughs> now, all of you get this straight. This is not a game. Come. Everything is fine, going as planned. Все хорошо. 
What's your name? Cadet Taylor. <laughs> your job, Cadet Taylor, is very simple. My men do not speak good English. We're Russian. Yes, I'm Russian too. But I was trained in the old days. You're too young to understand. Radio silence. So, for you, Cadet Taylor, a steep learning curve. Come. Light me straight. Roadblocks ready? Sharpshooters in place? I'd say it's pretty well sewn up. It all looks so normal. Do you think it was like this that morning in Dallas? We'd better get back. You know what bugs me? What really bugs me is that they've still got the initiative. What more can we do? Security's massive. We've looked under every stone. Gotta hand it to these guys. They know what they're doing. Donahue is one of the best. That's it. I knew there was something wrong. Donahue! What about him? What was he gonna do just before he died? Dude, what are you talking about? Wasn't he gonna inspect the battleship? The one his father served on? Friendly captain and all that? Well, he never got around to it, did he? the guns. coming, two men. I don't like the sound of it. Idiot. Now you listen to me. Your captain has gone ashore. He won't be back until this evening. You cannot allow anybody on this ship without his permission. Have you got that? Yes. Uh, may I help you? We're part of the security team for the government conference. We'd like to see the captain. Permission to come aboard? I'm sorry, sir. Captain Bragg is ashore. We're with CI-5. We need to inspect the boat. Ship. What's happening, Cadet Taylor? Can I help you, gentlemen? I'm Petty Officer Lang. These men are with the CIA. What's your interest in the glory? We need to inspect the guns. 16 inches? They're all capped. No firing mechanisms. We need to be sure of that. Well, they're 50 years old. They haven't been fired since the old girl was decommissioned. When was that? Decommissioning? April 5th, 1963. Yeah, well, we still need to see them. Sure. Come aboard. Cadet Taylor, I hope you remember your gunnery instruction. Show these gentlemen what they'd like to see. was commissioned in 1938. It was originally fitted with 14-inch guns. After Pearl Harbor, the Navy decided to upgrade to 16-inch guns with a range of 20. Cadet. Sir? Are there any charges on board? Live ones? No, sir. Um, the charge packs are filled with cotton, and the shells are made of wood. They're for display purposes only. You're sure of that? Yes. I've handled them myself many times. Have you ever looked down one of the barrels? But it's amazing. Well, that's not possible. All the guns are capped. They're filled with cement. Seen everything you need to see? What about the smaller guns, the ones up on the deck? The 40 millimeters. You want to see those too? Sure, why not? Yeah, that's Pat Murray. I called the ship a dozen times, but nobody answered. Your number was in his wallet. Where was he found? Half a mile downstream. He died around 10.30 last night. I'll get back to the ship. Tell Captain Bragg. Well, it might be tough. They've blocked off all the streets. The president's coming. Yep, that's welded solid. Like a rock. 
That pretty well wraps it up. Thanks, Cadet Taylor. Thanks, Petty Officer. Chief, any time. Thank you. Take the girl off the deck. Sir, I've been monitoring unusual incidents within a five-mile radius of the conference site. And? Police fished a body out of the river this morning, just downstream of the Dower House. The men have been shot with Russian ammunition. Identified? An ex-naval cook, currently working on board the USS Glory, directly opposite the Dower House. Contact Mr. Keel and Mr. Curtis. Tell them to search it from stem to stern. They already did. Tell them to do it again. Yes, sir. Trouble? Uh, no, no, no. It's just, just routine. Do you think it'll work? Hmm? Do, do I think what will work? This? But he wants you to go back anyway. Well, did you tell him that we checked the guns, that they're all out of commission? Thank you. Back up. Oh, God. Those idiots. What? The Pentagon just found a manifest for that storeroom, the one where Donahue died. It wasn't empty at all. Well, what's in it? 1,000 rounds of World War II shells, 40 millimeter high explosive. Yes, understood. Miss Backers, get there now. Зачем? Разворот. 180 градусов. Высота. 35. Руки на цель. I thought they timed these things to the second. They do. So why isn't he there? I don't know. Something's wrong.
Come on, where are you? Destroy the building! You're crazy! He's not there yet! But we can stop the conference and get out of here! Destroy the building! Now! Fire! Fire! Freeze! Hands off the weapons and put them in the air where I can see them! Do it! Now! I'm going! Кончено. Mr. Malone. I'm Captain Bragg. It is indeed an honor to shake your hand, sir. I believe this nation owes you an incalculable debt of gratitude. 
Ah, well, thank you, Captain, but at no time was the President in danger, nor indeed were any of the other leaders. But I thought... He was persuaded to change the venue late last night. The conference is taking place at the White House as we speak. And if you're wondering who persuaded him? Captain, being an old Navy man, I was wondering if I'd look around the ship. Would that be possible? Certainly. Cadets? Sir, sir. Yes, yes, sir. sir. One thing. What's that, sir? The office really is oval. And he got the message about the organ inside Sire. What was it that he said about Berenov? He said, guys like that always live to fight another day. So do we, Mr. Keel. So do we. <laughs> <laughs> 